Today I'd like to share with you a new feature, a style feature in Power BI that was recently introduced in the latest update. PPM Works had the privilege of attending Microsoft's inaugural Power Apps conference in Orlando last week. And this is something that they demonstrated in several of the sessions, um, and specifically the importance of sort of leveling up when it comes to presentation in the various Power App tools, in this case, Power BI is what we're demonstrating. So I want to show you the new drop shadow feature. That is just the easiest thing ever. So I have a one plan report open here in Power BI desktop. And I'm just going to select a visual here on the left hand side. We're going to go to the format the visual tab, which is a little bit different. It used to be down in this section where there'd be a paintbrush. Now they've moved it up here. I noticed there are a couple of additional clicks that you need to do, but once you get used to it, it's really easy to find what you need. And also you can search for whatever you needed. So if we wanted to search for shadow, we could do that and it will bring us right to where it is, which is under the effects tab. But if we wanna to get to that directly, we're going to go to general and then effects. And then we're going to just expand this and turn on the shadow. As you can see right now, it's defaulted to blue. You can change that to whatever color you like if you wanted it to be sort of a pink color or just your standard gray drop shadow, you can do that as well. And then if you wanted to copy this to the other uh, pie charts or donut charts in this section, you can use the Format Painter. Unfortunately, unlike Excel, you can't double click on the Format Painter to have it, um, you know, to just leave it turned on. But it will work for others as well. So let me see, that one seemed to change the style. So you just want to be cautious of exactly what style is being set. So for this one, we might just want to go to this directly, select that visual, go back to the style panel, general effects, and turn on the shadow. And then switch it to the recent color that we used for the others. And there you have it. That's just going to really up your game. You're not going to be able to overlap um, visuals as you might in other circumstances, um, just because it will sort of look odd if you've got the backs of these hidden. Okay, so you just want to be more thoughtful about the way you lay out your page. Um, also, it behooves you to have less visuals on a page. Another thing that they were focusing on was how to make sure that the uh, attention is drawn in the right direction. So if you look at eye patterns, they tend to go from uh, top left down and then across the bottom right of the page. So you just want to make sure you have your most important information up here in the top left corner of the page because that's where it's natural for people's eyes to gravitate. Good luck!